So by now, I guess most of you know how this works. I show you some news clips about the country in question. Breaking news out of Pakistan. Mixed messaging coming from Pakistan. Pakistan, settle your own problems. World leaders are urging Pakistan and India to take some deep breaths. And then I go there and see what it's like behind the headlines. But wait a second, I think this guy has some things to say. There's one place once described as the world's most dangerous country that's offering up a pleasant surprise. Pakistan. So should we see if we can find that pleasant surprise this man's talking about? I'm confident we're going to find something. White paper. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. of the Pakistan that I was expecting to see. Everyone should come in Pakistan. There's nothing wrong with it. Wonderfully peaceful now. Mm -hmm. So we've just arrived at the uh, train station here in Karachi and uh, we are heading to Islamabad on a train. Should be like 22 hours minimum, I think. We've got like business class air conditioning. Never heard of business class on a train before, but very interested to see what it's like and uh, interesting to share it with you guys. But here again with Shabazz, the Karachi local. As you can see, this train station behind me is in really good condition, beautiful building. It's been recently restored. Are you ready to go to uh, Islamabad on a 22 hour sleeper train? Let's do it. <laughs> So as you can see our train has arrived, uh, you can see they sell little treats here on the side. Uh, there's business class. And that's what we're lucky enough to be taking today, which uh, I'll put the price on the screen. So I thought it was pretty reasonable for how long the train journey is. Um, but I'm just going to show you economy first and then I'll take you to our cabin and I'll show you business. So this is economy. So it's all just open. And there's three beds here in economy. And there's no AC, it's just fans. So yeah, you get the idea of economy here. I'll put the price on the screen of how much an economy seat costs. So this is the toilet. Still a squat toilet, but that's considerable amount cleaner. And who do we have here? <laughs> so yeah, this is the, the business cabin. So so there are three beds here as well then? Okay. This one goes down when you are like during the night time. As you can see, it's uh, quite luxury. Got the uh, fan. And air conditioning. And we got charging ports. Yes, we do. Nice. So yeah, we're super early, we're like two hours early, that's why everything's empty, but at least we got to explore the different cabins. I think there's a first class here as well, um, but yeah, I'm going to sleep well tonight. Uh, if you didn't see the last video, check that out, because we explored Karachi and um, met some amazing people and saw the chaos of that city with 20 million people in it. It's uh, mental anyway, see you soon. So run, 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 run.
the next day. Good morning. Pretty good night's sleep, like six or so hours. You can see they brought us breakfast and tea this morning. And uh, they also give you a little complimentary little uh, goodie bag. With uh, like toothbrush and uh, shaver and everything. Thank you. We've got one other guy in our cabin. Uh, older gentleman, he's just uh, chilling up the top sleeping. But yeah, generally, people are very friendly on this train. So I've just come to the uh, economy class to walk through while there's people in it, just have a look. So I guess the difference between economy and uh, business is obviously we get the service, they bring you tea, breakfast and lunch and if you want dinner you have to pay for that. Here I guess they don't give you anything, I'm not too sure. Uh, and then obviously we've got air conditioning but like air conditioning for 22 hours sometimes is a bit much so I don't know, the economy might be a bit better in that regard, but there's guys that go around cleaning the train as it goes and making sure everything's in good. It's really well maintained, I must say. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. What's happening? Just traveling. Going to Islamabad? No, I'm going to Khanewal. Okay. Yeah, where you are going? I'm going to Islamabad. Okay. Both. Yeah, yeah. You living there? No, I'm so. living in Karachi. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to my relatives. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, sir. Thanks. Have a good day. Just stopped at a station here. Nice to get some fresh air. Um, must have been traveling for maybe 10 hours or so, so far. So another... 12, I think. Hey, how are you? Okay. You good? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I better get back on this train before it leaves without me. So we've just had a visitor, and what was your name again? Harris. Harris? Yes. Cool, nice to meet you. What are you doing today? Tell me about your journey and, and why you're going to Islamabad. Well, I'm relocating from Karachi to Islamabad. So you're moving there? Yeah. Is that a big big move for you? Is it uh, scary or it's all good? Well, I've been moving here and there since my last 10 years. Right. I was like in my teenagers. So I've been doing it, like I've been to... Uh, Ukraine, Poland, and Gulf countries. Okay. Did you like living in Poland? Uh, I was there for a week, so yeah. Oh, uh, wait. Sure. Yeah. But you lived in Ukraine then? Yeah, I lived in Ukraine for almost 10 years. 10 years? Yes. In Kiev, right? Exactly. What about in terms of people comparison to uh, Pakistani people and Ukrainian? What's the difference? In your eyes. I should be honest here. If I compare, uh, there is one mutual um, similarity. Yeah, similarity between these two. They both are welcoming people. I've been very warmly welcomed by Ukraine, comparing to the going more to the West, right? Oh, really? But, yes. So you felt more welcome in uh, Ukraine than in UK? 
uh, for example, in the European region countries. Okay. okay. Yeah. Can you give some examples? Maybe what France comparing or to po comparing to Polish. Polish. Okay. But they were still. Uh, well, it's another reason is because I was speaking their language in Ukraine. Right. You speak I've Ukrainian. Been, yeah, I've been. Yeah, I've been married there. Right. I speak uh, Ukrainian. I speak Russian. Any foreigners thinking about coming to Pakistan? Do you recommend they do? Do you think it's a safe country? Well, uh, even when you will be like completing your visit, you will understand yeah. how comfortable this country is, right. how welcoming the people are here, and you will find different cultures from south to the north. You will see a different culture, different climate in the north. You will see a different culture, different uh, climate in the south. Right. So it's very so, diverse. Right? Yeah, diverse cultures. You will see. It's a great, great experience. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Cheers. So 14 hours in at this point and uh, the uh, guy that works on the train has just brought us uh, some lunch. What do we have here Shabazz? That's like a lower food for one person so we have biryani. That's like a chicken biryani in here. Then we have some chicken uh, with gravy in it. Yeah and that's dal lentil. And there's some sweet as well, it's called halwa with some naan. So it's like a classic Pakistani lunch? Yeah. Yeah so this is all uh, included in the price as well so pretty good so yeah you get breakfast and lunch. And some dal maybe. Mm, I like the taste. No pizza, thank you. So we just arrived at Lahore. Uh, train station, gonna be here like 20 minutes, so thought I'd stretch the legs a bit. You've probably heard of... Uh... Man, there's so much going on here, it's amazing. Uh, you've probably heard of uh, Bollywood in India. Well, they actually have something here called Lollywood. And that's uh, originated here in Lahore, so it's the kind of the, the Hollywood of Pakistan. I've heard that things are slowly moving down to Karachi, but uh, this is the origin, I believe. Guys jumping on the train before trying to sell pizza and, and french fries and everything. So uh, they must come in here to the caterers, jump on the train, then jump on the train and try to sell everybody pizza and burgers and things. It's good service. So still another six hours from here until we get to Islamabad. It's been a long journey but comfortable. We're very lucky. Our cabin can fit six but there's only three in there. So it's quite nice. This is where all the food's prepared for the uh, people in business class. We got tea and all the supplies and water and everything.
Yeah. Made it to Islamabad. What a journey. Hey, do you do? Hello. Yeah, I have watched your YouTube videos. Oh, really? But uh, I don't know your name. Nick. Nick? Yeah. Yeah, I have recognized you. Oh, wow. Well, you're on, you're on the channel now. Oh, subscribe to Nick's channel <laughs> and watch his videos. What's your name? Vakas. Vakas. Yes, I'm from Karachi. Okay. Yeah, just on official purpose. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, eh? Nice to meet I'll you. I'll see too. you around. How was the journey? Hey, it was really comfortable. Yeah. And what about you? Did you? Yeah, I uh, think we were very lucky. We had to. really interesting conversation with different people on our way to Islamabad. Yeah. yeah. Nice That's people. Islamabad. Are you Karachi? Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Hi. I think you have a booking.com booking, yeah? Yeah, Nicholas. Yep. Yeah. No, no issue. Please. My and my friend coming. Yeah, down. two rooms. Yeah. yeah, two rooms. Yeah. Made it to our hotel here in Islamabad, the capital of Pakistan. Uh, we just zipped across the road to a shopping mall, grabbed some food. It's now like 11 p.m. or so. I figured out before that I had left my hotel about 38 hours ago. So I'm so ready for this bed. If you want to know the information for the trains, if you want to know how you can book them. I'll leave all the links down below for the train booking website. Um, it's a little confusing to use, but I'm sure you get the hang of it. Not at all sponsored, but um, I'm sure some of you guys watching this video will want to experience the, uh, the beauty of traveling um, in this subcontinent on train, because it's one of the best ways to get around. I mean, worldwide really, but here it's got kind of a special touch to it. Anyway, basically falling asleep at this point. Um, in the next video, we're going to be exploring the capital city here and uh, then the following days we will be heading into some more wilderness kind of areas, some more rural areas, try to get a grasp of the whole country. Um, huge thank you to Shabazz for showing me around here. Check out his Instagram. Um, he you know, does photos around Karachi and things, so check him out and give him some support. And uh, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.